feel me tell me that this stage ends good morning guys today is saturday and i wanted to make it a very productive day so i did write a list and i thought i would take you along with me because there's just a ton of stuff that i want to get done before like the start of next week and yeah just like really get productive and feel good about my house because it needs a good clean and i just need to get my life in order so yeah if you want to come along with me then definitely keep on watching to the end and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy these motivational cleaning get it all done videos and don't forget to subscribe to see more like this and let's get into it mr noodle here playing with his favorite drawer he has like free range to this drawer guys hey you know uh, maybe not that one <laughs> no Okay, so Fedor is playing with rice outside and I'm just going to keep an eye on him from indoors. But I'm going to get a start on tidying up the living area. The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms You sing la 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 My God, I think I might be in love Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city Okay guys, so we are tidying up the garage. It's such a nice day and I always feel so motivated when the weather's good. So, getting rid of, uh, maybe not baby. Tough on mommy, tough on mommy. That's for our garden. Yeah, so we are getting rid of these boxes and doing something with this mattress. Okay, this is looking so much better like it still looks really unorganized but it's organized chaos so all my mum's stuff that she needs to collect is on this corner all of our storage is on this corner we do need to work out like a good storage system because this garage floor does leak so i want to have like all my boxes elevated which is why they're on this wooden platform and all that is there um, then we have our spare chairs, which I do plan on painting one day. We have our recycling, which is almost full. I'm going to cash this in soon, guys. And then we have, like, all our car stuff. And, yeah, I was just vacuuming the floor. Um, this fridge needs to go and, like, get chucked out on the council cleanup day. So we're just waiting for that date. Then we have, like, our spare box, our lawnmower, and a fair pulled his dry cap, his trike, not his trike. And then our like lawn stuff. So I just wanted to create like a lot more space in this room. So like we can come in here and like play and ride the track and yeah. All right, so I just put Fyodor to bed and I'm kind of at the stage where I'm feeling really frazzled. He's not sleeping during nap time. He's just like, he's been skipping his naps. He's not even two yet. He'll be two at the end of the month. And I'm like, is nap time meant to end this soon? I'm just like, I've relied so much on nap time. I feel so unproductive right now. And it's just like, I don't know, I just use his nap to kind of like recollect myself for the afternoon because having a toddler, honestly guys, if you've got one you'll know, but it wears you out and I want to be the best mum that I can be, so this mama needs like to whew, zen it, but just nap times, I've tried everything, I've tried going on walks, cars, he kind of falls asleep in the car, but just i just need him to go to sleep in his cot and <sighs> if you feel me tell me that this stage ends and they'll go back to a good routine please i am just like 
praying oh my gosh and I just need to like sit down have a cup of tea and just chill for a minute before I get hot before before I get stuck into more tasks. So I just put on a load of laundry. I do have towels that I have to do, but we'll come to that. I'm also going to get the washing off the line. Wee! Oh. Wee! <laughs> Mama! There's no place on earth. guys so it's a few days later on Saturday I came down so sick guys like oh it hit me hard on Saturday I ended up getting a really bad sinus infection you can still probably hear it it's now Monday again and we're attempting getting all the stuff done because man I have been out for like the whole weekend doing nothing but sitting on the couch watching Say Yes to the Dress, surviving because oh my gosh, it hit me hard. So we're attempting again today and I just wanted to show you what real life is like. My house is a bombshell and we plan on going food shopping today and doing a bit of meal prepping. But first I wanted to tackle my bedroom because oh, it's bad. It's, it's really bad. Like, oh. It's just been neglected. My house has been neglected. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, this is the culprit. The bed needs making. I have to change the sheets. I just need to dust everything down. I need to sort out the cloth nappies. I need to vacuum the whole of upstairs. It's just bad. And this is only one room. Found you today. It feels like it's been forever laughing all day.
Okay, this is looking so much better. Floor is so much more cleaner. Laundry's put away. Bed's made with fresh sheets. <laughs> So we are back from the grocery store and I'm going to do a little bit of meal prepping. First I have to clean the kitchen because it's really messy. So we ended up buying this glide brush which is like silicon bristles because I don't know if you have the same problem. Oh my gosh guys. Peter is out. <laughs> Having fun. But I don't know if you have the same problem but food always gets stuck in like these bristles. Look you can see it and I was just over it. So let's see how good this works. Okay, so a wet meal prepping with a partner today, guys. Isaac, what are you making? Buffalo sauce. Yeah, like chili, <laughs> chili buffalo sauce. Yeah, I'm not really sure what hot pepper sauce really means, but you know, like we'll just go with this one and see how it turns out. If it's really hot, then it's really hot. <laughs> Isaac, can you handle the heat? I don't know, we'll find out. <laughs> no, you can't. He, d he can't handle chili. <laughs> So I'm just going to be chucking two cups of brown rice in the slow cooker and I'm actually going to mix it with some veggie stock. the sauce going Isaac? It's very confusing so far. <laughs> Just because it doesn't seem like it's gonna like make a lot of sauce or be really really hot. Oh my gosh. We're looking for the cumin. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys so we are making my favorite vegetable sauce so like to stir fry it up. We're using five tablespoons of soy sauce three tablespoons of maple syrup, one quarter of a tablespoon of sesame seed oil. Then we're gonna add some cumin, we're just gonna eyeball it, and some chili flakes. I'm also gonna add some fresh ginger into the sauce today. Isaac's done some nice buffalo sauce and it actually turned out really well. I was really skeptical on it at first. The ingredients in the buffalola sauce, or buffalo sauce. Buffalola? I always say buffalola. Buffalola. <laughs> buffalo. We used hot pepper sauce, paprika, cyan. Cayenne. A cayenne. <laughs> garlic, a bit of Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> butter, and also vinegar. Vinegar. Okay. Okay guys, so you know this is my favorite stir fry mix. Got the baby corn and we're gonna be stir frying this with our sauce and adding a little bit of chili to taste. The easiest meal prep and it tastes so good guys. It makes you wanna eat vegetables. I've just been soaking my broccolini and strawberries in some apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to rinse them off now and we're going to be making something with the broccolinis and cutting up all the strawberries.
we're just going to drizzle some olive oil on the broccolini and then we're going to add some chopped garlic i just wanted to mention that you do want the broccolini spread apart otherwise they will steam and they won't crisp up so for my secret ingredient we are adding dried chives these are so good guys finally we're going to top it off with some salt and black pepper okay so we have not forgot about these vegetables i'm going to add the sauce in now they do need a little longer but at least they can sit in the sauce and soak it all up <laughs> okay pop these in so we're gonna pop these in for about 20 minutes but just keep an eye on them because i'm gonna be honest i can't remember the normal time we're meant to cook them for but we're just gonna pop a timer on for 20 because yeah Isaac is making this yummy ginger satay peanut sauce, which... <laughs> this is a peanut sauce, do you know? <laughs> ginger satay peanut sauce. Um, but he just put a whole garlic clove in and then decided he wants to add minced garlic. So we'll see, we'll see how this works out. But I'm actually going to come over to this corner, which is Isaac's corner, and use the blender. <laughs> okay guys, the broccolini is all finished. I'm going to pop it in a container. Okay, so the last thing that I want to do is actually do a bit of smoothie prep. So organize like the smoothie bags so I can just pull it out of the freezer, dump it in fast as well. Big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!